Hi, I'm Mindy Cheng, and I'm back. Okay, so you can probably tell from my morning voice and my morning face that it is the morning. No shit, Sherlock. So I'm on my gap year waiting to start uni and all this time I've been trying to cook more often so that when I go off to uni at least I'll have some basic life skills. Where is it? Where is it? So this week, I thought it'd be fun to cook my favourite recipes that I've learned over the past few months every single day for lunch. So every day will be a different recipe and I will bring you along with me because I am a cooking noob. Let's go! Yo, editing Amanda here, I just wanted to say that I am not a professional chef and that in this video, I'm sort of just trying to put together something that's edible. So yeah, don't cancel me for like my poor technique or whatever. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks. So today I'm making a breakfast bagel and what you need is bagel bread, an avocado, pesto, an egg and prosciutto ham. First thing is to cut the bagel in half so that you can later stuff it with food. Then toast the bagel in the air fryer so that it's all warm and crispy later. And then you cut your avocados in half, realise that they're rotten and realise that you truly are a failure in life. Crack your eggs and scramble them until there are little bubbles in the raw egg soup. Then season it with black pepper so that your eggs will have some taste. <coughs> While cooking your eggs, take out your prosciutto ham when no further action is needed and all you need to do is slap it onto your bread. And wow, look at the way that I'm assembling everything together. Oh my gosh, don't I look like a professional chef? Anyway, I feel like it doesn't look too shabby and I was pretty excited to eat it. Wow! I'm done cooking. It has been a chaotic morning and my avocados are rotten. I'm gonna give it a try. This is definitely like one of those delicious, messy situations. I think it would have been nicer if it was warm, but I was too busy taking B-roll. I'm gonna go and enjoy my brunch now, and I will see you for tomorrow's meal. <laughs> On day two, I made stir-fried quinoa. To do this, you'll need quinoa, celery, chicken tenders, mushrooms, brussels sprouts, and carrots. First thing is to pop your chicken tenders into the air fryer. Shout out to my sister for getting them from Foodie Mart because they're the best. Honestly, don't really know what washing the vegetables does, but I see people do it, so let's go. And then you gotta dice your celery and dice your mushrooms. So in the meantime, you can start preparing your quinoa and the hack for making really good quinoa, I feel, is to cook it in chicken stock. And as always, I have no idea what the serving size of quinoa is. And then you dice your garlics and add them to another pan. When the garlic looks slightly crispy, then you throw in your other vegetables. Add some seasoning and then stir fry everything. When your quinoa is nice and fluffy, add them to the pan and stir fry everything together. Then I added some oyster sauce because I'm Asian and poison sauce is a blessing. Then you take out the chicken tenders from the air fryer and prepare your brussels sprouts. Season them and throw them into the air fryer. And to top everything off, you can fry an egg. Honestly, I feel like this looks pretty good as well and I think this is definitely one of the healthier meals I made. Leads out! It's perfect! Mm. <laughs> Kangwe approved! On day 3, I made pesto pasta with macaroni pasta, fresh basil, cherry tomatoes, a lemon, almonds, chicken breast, olive oil, cheese and garlic. First thing is to cook the pasta in a pot of boiling water and always remember to salt your pasta water. And as usual, I'm unable to estimate the correct serving size. Next is the biggest mistake I've made in my cooking career and I blame the red under my chef's hat. I washed my basil leaves and put them in a food processor and it was my first time using this because my dad recently bought it for me. Then I added almonds, olive oil and lemon juice. But the food processor couldn't grind out my ingredients to be fine enough and by the time I transferred everything into a blender, it was too late and I was going to be having chunky pesto sauce. Then I chopped up my cherry tomatoes and seasoned my chicken breast before chopping that up too and frying it. With the chicken, I added my tomatoes, pasta and sauce. Then some pasta water aka liquid gold. And ta-da! Even better than mama! Hi, so it's day 3 of cooking and I think today I realised how bad I am as in I know that I'm really bad Today was when I was like, oh my god, I am really really bad at cooking At the end of the day, I still feel like the food is like not bad or like maybe I just have the taste buds of a loser I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to now Disclaimer is that it's really really textured so 
the pesto sauce is like not really smooth and creamy and I was like prepared for that but I feel like the flavours are not bad I feel like you can't really go wrong with pesto it's such a noob friendly recipe that like even I can do it and even I can mess it up What are you? An idiot sandwich It tastes really fresh and like nice Okay now I'm just complimenting my own cooking what the heck on day 4, I made Bon Appetit's pasta with mushrooms and prosciutto with prosciutto ham, spaghetti, mushrooms, garlic, cooking cream, butter, and chicken stock. First, get ready to cook the pasta, and yes, the salty pasta water is essential. And here, I made another crucial mistake, which was to boil pasta in a pot that was way too small. And cook your pasta in a big pot. Big pot! Next, dice your garlic and mushrooms. Then, in a well oiled pan, throw in the prosciutto ham and oh my god, it smells heavenly. After it's cooked, remove the prosciutto and add the mushrooms and garlic in the same pan so it cooks in that oil. Then, add some chicken stock and let the pasta simmer. Damn, look at it simmer. Next, transfer your pasta and liquid gold into the pan. Finally, add the cooked prosciutto and some cooking cream and it's done. The pasta was super creamy and really tasty and I actually really loved it. Keep it up! Mmm, it's nice. But I brush my teeth also, so I can't really taste it, but I know it's nice. On day 5, I was trying a new recipe and made kimchi fried rice. It was made with kimchi, cooked rice, luncheon meat, an onion, carrots, butter, and an egg. So I diced my onions first, then added some butter to a pan and oiling it well and good before throwing in the onions, and then carrots, and oh my gosh, this smells so good. Then, throw in the kimchi and stir fry everything together. I also added some chicken stock along the way when it looked dry. Then add your luncheon meat and fry. Finally, add your rice and at this point, I was salivating as I was cooking. I also fried an egg to top everything off and mm, it looks so good! I think this recipe was a success. Mama's impressed! Ooh. Hi, so I just finished the kimchi fried rice and honestly, it was so nice and it was so easy to make. I think I'm kind of a professional chef now, so after this is MasterChef. Actually, I used to not know how to cook instant noodles, so I feel like all the stuff that I cooked this week was kind of a big achievement for me and I'm quite happy about that. And I feel like over the course of this week, like making mistakes and experimenting with food was honestly a lot of fun and it made me like look forward to lunchtime when I could go and play around with food. I think of all the recipes that I cooked, my favourite meal is probably the kimchi fried rice and no, I'm not biased because I just ate it for lunch today. And uh, I think a close second would be the quinoa. Yeah, overall, I think Cooking Mama would be proud of me. Hooray! Mama's impressed! If anyone has any other good and easy go-to recipes, do drop them in the comment box down below so that I can give them a go as well. Thanks for watching! Bye!